I tell you a story. Telling stories has actually afforded me the privilege of moving in almost every department, in every college, and every school district in my surrounding community. I wondered early on, could telling a story help a young person navigate the rich social structure that they enter into and exit out of every day? I thought, yeah, I bet it can. So I went into a school system and was asked to help the school itself navigate bullying. So we did something really cool. We took 10 of the kids who had been seen acting out, and we took 10 of the kids who had been seen receiving that acting out, and we brought them together as community, and we spent a year talking about telling stories. At the end, these kids decided that it was easier to tell someone what they were feeling than it was to act it out on somebody else because acting it out on somebody else, acting out the pain, acting out the wounds, acting out the um, worries and anxieties, always made them feel worse. And in working with all of these students, there was one beautiful day which guides everything I do. It was a moment when one of the young men in the class just began getting smaller and smaller and smaller and I just stopped everything because I could see it. Storytellers and story catchers know how to look at the story receivers and storytellers to see what story they're telling. And I said, what do you need right now? What do you need? And he said, I need a pause. I need everything to stop. I need to take a breath. So we did. And that wasn't the end of a story, that was the beginning of the next one.